Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome to my channel and to a video I think everyone is probably going to need if they do any spell casting with Realm of Magic and that is how to remove curses. And so before we get into that, if you are new to my channel, I do put out two or more Sims videos a week, everything from builds to build tutorials, pack reviews, challenges, cast videos, fashion shows, you name it, I put it out. I also have several other Realm of Magic videos, including a fashion show and build buy video. So don't forget to check those out. They'll be linked below. Alrighty. So now let's get into it. So this is my Sim. She's got all kinds of power. She is fully maxed out. Out. so she has some potions sitting here on the wall and one of these is the one that is very very helpful if you get cursed and this is called potion of curse cleansing but chances are the very first time you get cursed you're probably not going to have one of these in your inventory and you probably will not have made one yet so if that's the case there's a couple of ways to get rid of curses one you can go see one of the sages and ask for a rite of disillusion now, chances are, if you have managed to get yourself cursed, you've probably already been to this magic realm because it means you're a spellcaster. So curses are tied to spellcasting. So one of the ways that you can get rid of it is to no longer be a spellcaster. And so if you want to get rid of your spellcasting ability, you go to the magic realm, go to magic HQ, which is the main place that it drops you off at right here. And if you're already a spellcaster, you're probably familiar with this already then you go inside you talk to one of the three sages and ask them for the right of dissolution so I happen to have two sages here so I can ask either one of them and you know that they're sages because they have these little funky things above their head so that lets them lets you know that they're sages so if I talk to one of these sages and I go under the magic command here I will have an option to ask for right of dissolution this gets rid of your spell casting ability and and magic ability and all that now it does take a while before you can ask to become a spellcaster again so there's a period of time it's kind of like a little penalty thing I'm not sure exactly how long it is but there is a period of time you can't just ask for right of dissolution and then turn right around and ask for them to reinstate you as a spellcaster so maybe not the most ideal solution but it's one way to go if you no longer want to be cursed especially if you run into something where you're if you end up with two or three curses a, you can't function. <laughs> it's, it becomes very difficult. So you may just decide to use that as sort of like the nuclear option. But there are other ways. Now, one of the other ways is under the spell, uh, not the spellcraft and sorcery, under your achievement area and your points, if you go into your satisfaction points into the re reward store and you go under potions, there is the potion that you can buy, the potion of curse cleansing right here. So it's 500 satisfaction points to buy the potion of curse cleansing here. So that's another way that you can get rid of curses. Okay, so that's satisfaction points. Now, there is another possibility, another place that you might be able to get a potion if you don't have one already. And that is over here at the stores. So once you're in this area, which reminds me very much of Diagon Alley in Harry Potter, once you're over here, you can talk to this guy here. He is the astral projector vendor and you can buy potion ingredients from him. But the thing is, there's sometimes potions in here as well. Not always, but sometimes. See, right now we have a potion of perk purging. So it's not a curse removal portion, but it's a possibility. So that's one place that you can look. So the other thing that you can do is advance your magical skills. Now, if we go into the spell book and she is, as we can see, she's completely maxed out nine of nine, seven of seven. She is totally maxed out. So I'm going to click on this progress area under alchemy. If you don't want to see all the things that are available, if you prefer those to be a surprise, skip this section of the video because you don't want to spoil it. Some of you may want to actually see this, but if we go into this, and I go one more page, we have a potion of curse, curse 
cleansing here and it tells you what the ingredients are and this removes all curses but you have to get a little bit up in magic to be able to get this to be able to do this so that's probably not going to be available to you right away now if you do want to get up in your potions I may be doing a separate video on that. I'm going to do a few, at least I'm going to try to see if I can do a few different magic type videos, but you have to advance your potion skills to get to this point. Now, the other one is a spell. And that spell is under the untamed magic. So we click on untamed magic and we see right here, we have decursify, free yourself from the effects of a magical curse. So if your sim has the decursify spell, if, she, if he or she has learned that spell, you can then click on your sim, click on magic, click on spells, and if he or she is cursed, it will allow you to click decursify under here. So you can eliminate your curse. However, <laughs> there is a catch to this. If you're cursed, sometimes spells backfire and don't go very well. So she was cursed at one point and I tried to have her decursify herself and it ended up backfiring, backfiring on her and she ended up with a double curse. So sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that can actually backfire on you. Now I may do a separate video on how to get your skills up to get the spells and the potions and all of that, but I just wanted to give you guys an overview on the different ways that you can eliminate a curse when you get cursed, because you will get cursed. <laughs> So everyone, I hope this helps you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like below and comment. Let me know what you think. Share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And thanks so much for spending the time with me today. Hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.